Hello and welcome. I will post a few trailer videos and see what gets the best respond and then continue on that one. While making series, I will only use voiceover before and after the videos. Now for the warnings. This video contains bad language and out of character haikyuu. The pictures, characters and sound do not belong to me. All credit goes to the rightful owners. I advise minors to not watch this video, but I can't make you. Hope it helps or that you find it entertaining. Now on to the video. Anyway, can you tell us why these convicts aren't trying to break out of here like they did from every other prison? I can't say, though they have indicated that they're comfortable here. None of these documents make any reference to the prisoner's prior escape attempts. Why might that be? I do have that information, but I'd hope to explain in this more intimate setting. Intimate? Some of these details are of a more delicate nature. Exceptionally difficult to put on paper. What kind of details I'll are they? I'll start with inmate number 25. Nationality, American. At first glance, his case looks like any other drug bust in the slums. But, it became clear that he was unaware he was dealing with drugs. He was just a courier, and his sentence was lightened accordingly. Then he was tested for symptoms of drug abuse, and found to have several food allergies, as well as what has yet to be identified as one or many illnesses. Why would he choose to escape from reform school? You just said his sentence was light. It's obvious! The reform school doctors performed painful experimental treatments on the sorry urchin, and the radiation awakened his mysterious power and caused him to go berserk! He broke out in a blood rage! He hates needles, and they gave him daily shots. Really? What, is he in kindergarten? He was sent to prison after prison. Every time the day of his next treatment drew near, he smashed through the walls and ran off. You don't actually mean that literally, right? Fortunately, that's no longer a problem. Here at Nanba Prison, we provide oral medication in a flavor the inmate is fond of. No injections necessary. He now looks forward to every treatment. Okay, then. So that's why he no longer intends to escape. That would be hard to put on paper. Next up, we have inmate number 69. He's an American as well. Was arrested and sent to juvenile hall after instigating an urban gang riot. So this one's violent. As with number 15, he has a clear motive for his escapes. And what might that be? He lost a friend in battle! Now he lives only to enact vengeance on the monsters who slaughtered his comrade! He broke out of there to ensure that the killers face justice! Actually, he ran away because the food at Juvie was terrible. You bring me this swill! He continued escaping from every prison he was sent to because he found the meals intolerable. <laughs> Here, though, he's become a model prisoner. He enjoys our food. Japanese cuisine suits him well. Shall I continue? I see no point in stopping now. Very well. Inmate number 11. Nationality, British. He was arrested and sent to juvenile hall after police captured him in an underground casino. He is both a talented and compulsive gambler. Despite my warnings and the confiscation of numerous decks of cards, it never stops. There's no money here, so they bet magazines. So what's his deal, then? Did he bust out because he was after higher stakes? It isn't that. It would appear that his motive concerned a woman. <gasps> a woman, huh? I understand! He was only gambling because he needed the money! Money to pay the hospital bill for his wheelchair-bound girlfriend after her accident! He had to get her that cash through whatever means were necessary, even if it meant breaking out of prison! You have quite the imagination, don't you? What, am I wrong?! Of course. 
Apparently, he broke out of juvie because he had a hot date. <sighs> Why am I even surprised? No matter what prison he was sent to, he would always escape on date nights. Listen, you! You better not be about to tell me that he's behaving now because he had some kind of breakup. That is not a bad theory. No, I wish I had guessed it! <sighs> Perhaps I overestimated these prisoners. Finally, inmate number 15. <clears throat> He's native Japanese, sent to juvenile hall on charges of larceny. Escaped on the day he arrived. That quickly? How? He has more arrests and escapes on his record than any of his cellmates. He is precisely the type of criminal who should be interned in this prison. And have you found out his motive for escaping? He says it's a hobby. Huh? A hobby. For the time being, I don't believe he has the desire to escape. If his temperament appears to change, I'll alert you. Fair enough. You say there are no current problems. I'll take your word for it. I appreciate your trust. The others, I believe. But I'm suspicious of 15. Why do I break out? Kills time. It's fun. An entertaining hobby. I only told the warden that because that's what he told me. It's far from confirmed. If he thinks he can earn my trust, he's a fool. I will never let my guard down. Ow, man! Look, that's the fifth time I've had to catch you today. Read a book or something. Thank you for watching and please comment if you want more of this series or not. I will continue with the series that gets most likes and positive comments. Have a great day or night. I told you long ago on the road, I got what they waiting for. All wrong, so nothing, dog, get your souls, tell them they ain't laying low.